Hey guys, it's Dominique. Sorry I forgot to make a movie last week. I just, I don't know, I was pretty tired. I just came back from a class trip. This week I don't have much to talk about, but I guess I can tell a few like interesting German related stories. Oh, one story that I have is I was taking a shower and you know, just washing my hair, shaving myself and all that good stuff. And I look down and I see beer shampoo, and that belonged to my host mom. I thought that was something that might be unique to Germany. I've never seen beer shampoo in the United States. Also, something else um, that's kind of interesting is in Germany, and actually in a lot of countries in Europe, they have team handball. It's like a really popular sport, like Olympic handball, you can also call it. And we don't really play that in the States. Um, it's not the thing where you throw the ball against the wall. It's a bit different. And anyways, I just had the European Meisterschaft. It turned out that Germany lost to Poland. And um, let's see who won. Denmark. Denmark won the European Championship for handball. Anyways, like a lot of people in my town play it. So I thought it was interesting. I went with my friend to practice the other day. And just to check it out. I don't know if I'm that into it, but it's kind of cool to watch. It's a high-scoring game, so I guess sometimes it can be more exciting than soccer, depending on what your taste is. <laughs> Anyways, I'm wearing a scarf. It is freezing. It is below freezing. It's like 10 degrees outside. There's snow everywhere. I can actually show you guys a picture of you from my window. Snow, but unfortunately no Schulfrei lighter. <laughs> Well, as you can see, I live in a pretty rural area. Um, I'm like pointing the camera out my window. Anyways, that big red barn that belongs to my host parents, not my host parents, my host grandparents, massive barn that they have. And I don't know, this is just a view from my window. It's uh, pretty, pretty much, that's it. I live in a village outside of my town, so not much going on here. Gotta go into town to see what's happening. <laughs> um, I haven't been watching the other guys' videos, so I can't really comment on the stuff they've been saying. I should, like, go check those out soon, and maybe I can add some comments on them, so I'll get right back on that. I also have to say I'm really glad Rachel's making videos sometimes, too. She is in a USO with me, Reese, and Catherine, so hopefully Rachel has some interesting stuff today. Actually, um... <clears throat> What was I going to say? Forget. Oh, yeah. Catherine and Rachel, I know, both go to all-girls schools, and I want to ask them how that is for them because I know I had, for some reason, I had this, like, impression that in German gymnasiums there isn't as much drama as American high schools. Little did I know it's high school, no matter no matter what country you live in, there's going to be drama with teenagers. I think I'm going to talk about food for a bit. And this isn't going to be the only video where I talk about food because I love the food here. I probably have gained so much weight. The Germans are very proud of their bread. They have tons of bread. They have bakeries everywhere. You can always get fresh bread. You can always get fresh anything baked. I love... Um, always getting like a fresh slice of cake from the bakery or for example today during our Mittwoch Plaza I got this um, this thing called a French Brickin. I'll show it to you guys. It's really tasty. I think I'm going to save it for school tomorrow and I'll eat it today. But look how tasty that looks. Ooh, yum. It's like got cinnamon and all sorts of good stuff in it. <laughs> I think my favorite bakery in Germany Although I think it's a bit more expensive than the other ones, I'm not even sure. Is um Junge Bakery. Wait, maybe it's spelled backwards on my laptop. Anyways, I swear by Junge. I love their bread hens. I like their bread rolls. And hold on, let me roll this up first. Uh, back to what I was saying. I I love um Junge's bread and all their pastries and uh, that's the great thing about Europe is fresh fresh baked goods all the time. I guess in the States you can find them too, but our grocery stores are just completely different than ours. We have a whole different kind of selection of foods to choose from. 
And with that last little snippet on food, I'm going to talk about the Super Bowl, which was last night, and I didn't watch it for the first time in my life. Ah! But I felt really bad. I was like, okay, maybe I will watch it. Didn't end up doing it because I have to wake up super early for school this morning, and it was about, it started at like midnight or quarter to one or something like that. It was a bit ridiculous. A lot of guys from my school, Germans, not Americans, ended up like watching the Super Bowl last night and coming to school late today and I was just like, why didn't I do that? They were pretty much teasing me and they said I was un-American. I felt so guilty. Anyways, see you guys next Tuesday. Hopefully I have more interesting things to talk about. If you want to hear anything in particular or have questions, send us messages or emails or whatever and we'll be happy to answer them for you guys.